the chrysalids attacking? Mm -mm. Yep. But they're not attacking him. Curiously enough. Either way, I'm in the wrong stance. Oh, shoot. And my fiery weapons goes off. I'm surprised the guy survived this long. <laughs> well, they weren't attacking him. That's what the cutscene was about. Hmm. Oh, come Interesting. on. Interesting. I dodge, but I dodge too early. I always dodge too early in this world. So oh. she's occupied. She's got friends. Oh. I should go for the small one that's coming after me. Oh, let's go for assault. Because assault seems to do more damage. Kind of hard to tell, but... Uh, well, that's a nice ice spell of hers. Yeah, the ice. Yeah, wrecking Probably shoots. Probably something akin to the ice lord. There we go. Bones. We need we need more bones from enemies. I was trying to farm them earlier, but you're too ready to record too early. Can't can't go farming when when it's recording time. Anyway, let's talk to this dude. Farm when you're not playing. Hey, time to wake up. Are you Heyman, Marana's assistant? Uh, you okay? Can you move? Cold. Man, you don't look so good. Come on, we'll go back to the village. Mirana will take care of you. <laughs> Yay! So there was the option to leave him there and get help. Hey, man. Oh, you found him. Thank you. But what have you done to him? Did you hit him? He was like this when I found him in the swamps. He followed without complaint, but never said a word. He must be in a state of shock. I'll take care of him. In any case, Haman owes you much, as I do. All of these refugees are in your debt. Please, I would like you to have this. It belonged to my husband. Hey, thanks. I'll put it to good use. Here, I got those ingredients you wanted, and some things to eat as well. This is very generous of you. I promise you this will save many lives. What is the point? As useless as bandaging a corpse. That just leaves the health potions. I brought you everything you asked me for. Yes, we are making progress. Is there anything else? Nope. Oh wait, strange behavior mm. among the villagers. Yeah. People standing around like statues. No expressions on their faces, eyes empty. Any of that sound familiar? Of course it does. May I remind you that my assistant suffers from these exact symptoms. It resembles trauma, but so far I have been unable to bring him out of it. I'll take my leave. See you later. Okay, so now we can go talk to Mason about the disappearing guards, and then we can deal with the uh, creepy people. Mm-hmm. Chesty, chesty, chest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. More like a tree stump. Tree stump, but it's got gold in it for some reason. People have been hiding it. It's like gold in the mattress, except for instead you put it in a public place because nobody checks tree stumps, right? <laughs> Stupid RPG heroes kicking down trees. Is it true you killed the beast? Is it true you quit the booze? What? Ah, oh, that's a load of bollocks. I thought so, but I did kill the beast. Right. Okay, then. You and me, we got off on the wrong foot. We owe you one. That's a man's job you done. I found your soldiers' bodies. <sighs> they were my best. I mean, it's sad. So, did you bring back their weapons? I know it's not pretty, but we need them bad. Yeah, I brought you back their stuff. I just hope it helps the survivors. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I know I said I wasn't going to pay you, but those lads won't be collecting their pay, so here, you have it. According to the steward, some of the villagers have been acting strange. Do you have any suggestions? Hey, I'm not a bloody oracle. Bring me some clues, some concrete, anything, and then I can help you. Okay, I'll come back when I know more. Well, that was useless. I'm going. See ya! We're going places.
specifically out of here, away from this kind of dull ass town where everybody just sits on their ass and lets me do everything. Like a true RPG NPC. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we could talk to our compatriots, but I think that would be largely pointless. So I guess let's just head for the hills. Essentially. So what was the quest pointing us to? Uh, so we have to go out into the swamps. I think we have to talk to the captain first. Probably about the witch, actually. But then we are, we have to figure out what is mind-controlling people. Vulcan, for fuck's sake, what did you do to Aeolas? I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer. Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner in the swamp. Looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aeolas's assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for. All of it. And watch out for the Red Scribes. We don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come back. Do you think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him, sir. So, she's just standing right there. I'm leaving. I'm pretty sure in the original Knights of the Old Republic game, sometimes your side character would make comments regarding what yeah. was actually going on in the game. Yeah, they would actually, like, complain when you, you know, said something that they didn't like. I like that! I'm not entirely sure why Edwin is just, like... Nothing. Thumb in my mouth. Not going to acknowledge the fact that I'm standing right in front of you. Okay, let's figure out where Hawk uh, is. Also, I'm... It's just the fact that the guy had to say the whole spit it out of her dress kind of thing. Yep. Like, uh. I think they're going to keep calling attention to that. Oh, word income. Mm. So now Hawk missed. is missing. Go. Yes. Hawk is indeed missing. Fire! The. Mm. That completely missed. Mm. Pisses me off. I'm gonna get a little tired of fighting the same floating bug beasts. I think that's actually something we're gonna have to get used to. Maybe once we get beyond the swamp, they won't be an enemy anymore? Yeah. Hopefully. No. Unless it's like Amalur, where all the enemies are the same. Uh, okay. So, it's like Amalur, sort of. Uh, where we're going to run into a lot of the same enemy types, so I think it's actually going to be the undead and not the swamp enemies. But, I, I was reading reviews for this game. And I heard it was actually a legitimate problem. Jeez. That said... Ow. I'm not too concerned about the music it. music is nice, though. Yeah. That, that's the only real thing that keeps drawing me back to this game. The, like... The, like, weird singy music that they have. When you're, like, at rest or whatever keeps popping back into my head, and it's like, that's actually really good music. Wait, they have a heartbeat as part of this song? It's because I'm injured. Oh, you're injured. Never mind. Yeah. Like, this. This song gets stuck in my head. Uh, it's like freaking Halo. The same thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's really good! <laughs> ah! Surprise! <laughs> it's those barrel well, snake slug thingamajigs. Oh, wow. I have really shitty aim with those fireballs. Well, whatever. 
Since I put it on easier difficulties, it's actually really easy to uh, kill. I wonder if the tail this. behind those pod thingamajigs is that they swallow you whole because they look a little bit human shaped and then they just close their mouth like a zipper. Yeah, probably. Don't you have to go back the other direction? No, Hawk is down here. Oh, side quest. Yeah, I, I see. figured I'd do the side quest. I don't know. Most side quests in Amalur, I felt were like. Hey, Vulcan, over here. Yeah, yeah, we see you, Hawk. I felt that the side quests in Amalur were skippable. And this, I don't know, they seem relevant, mm -hmm. you know? We do. I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on, he can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one, brother. Come on! Hmm. Is it around the corner? Oh, it's... there! Oh, it's just a big one of those things. Yep. Well, let's use our crossbow skills. That wow, that crossbow really sucks. Well, let's get some fireballs up in this. I do business. like how they just like rapid mantis claw. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Well, the, they're they're zerglings. Mm-hmm. Sort of. Oh. I think it just farted on me or burped. <laughs> Kinda it does hard have to tell. like Cthulhu. Thank you. I'd never have brought it down without your help. I'll get back to my patrol. Tell the captain not to worry about me. That is fast. Loot. Free loot. Assuming I, p I can pick it up. Those look like undead that are dead, dead. I think they were like members of the guard. Now, did you ever figure out what these caverns deals. were or are they just doors to other areas? Caverns? The doorways. Oh, yeah, they're, they're... Okay, so they're doorways to different areas. So in this case, this one here is actually that quote-unquote cave we were considering going into before we went into the town. But we didn't because there's no reason for it. Hmm. Because we had to get to the town. Man, oh. the frame rate sucks whenever it's loading into new areas. Well, let's just get the heck out of Dodge and see if it comes back. It should. Ugh. This game is not well optimized. Let's just get out of here. Just go. Just, just go Vulcan. I've also noticed they misspell Vulcan's name more than once. Really? Yes. Well, I've noticed that there have been quite a few spelling errors, but... I think it was actually when... It, so there's a... Uh, one of those, like, loading screen tips that says, like, you can press left on the D-pad mm -hmm. to... Uh, to, like, turn off the fire effect and not. So if you notice things just got dimmer and brighter, it's kind of hard to tell. But you can light up caves that way. And, uh, so in that one it's like, Vulcan doesn't need tor torches anymore, but instead of V-U-L. What? We have to go out back to the swamp to do the evil eye, right? I guess, but it's like, investigate weird villagers, and it's like... You'd think the villagers would be in here. Uh, I suppose you just talk to them. Yeah, I guess I botched that one. I think they're out this direction, though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely out this direction. Maybe they're the ones in the camps. Outside the town? Oh, maybe. But this is, like, past. This is past where the Freeborn Blades camp is. Oh. Oh, can you talk with them? Apparently. Vulcan. I do love our little chats, but shouldn't you be doing something? Don't you have to talk with Edwin? I guess we'll just do this What one. do you want to ask? Oh, maybe we do have to talk with Edwin. I'm leaving. Well, we do have her with her. us. Have you decided what you're going to do with me? I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You are free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. But if you cross the line, I'm the one who will straighten you out. So one false move and I blow you up. It's painful. Are we clear? 
Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the red scribes and freeborn blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I wouldn't dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. Uh, ask a few questions. I would like to ask you a few questions. I uh, guess we could actually go down the list. These seem kind of interesting. What do you think about our investigation? They are undoubtedly possessed by some creature, one that is hiding not far away from here. We should go and speak with that model of military rigor, the head of the guards. Alas called you a sorceress. Well, are you one? A sorceress? Only a rube or an imbecile would call someone a sorceress. If Aeolus had even a minimum of intelligence and discernment, he would have chosen another term. I do a bit of magic, it's true, but that makes me a magician. Nonetheless, my abilities could never rival those of a lord of the frozen shadows. Even if I am far more powerful than any red scribe will ever be. So this demon inside me, what is it? I can't say for sure. I've only rarely ever seen something so interesting. But all the same, I am certain of one thing. Your host is directly linked to the world heart. To the world heart? It's a simple question of logic. The ritual performed by the scribes had to make contact with the world heart somehow. Your affinity for flames is a crucial clue. Okay, but well, what's my role in all this? For now, you are the vehicle. You'll have to decide if you're going to use its power or just be a simple vessel. Can we win this war? You already know the answer. What was the last battle the Dead Walker army lost? I never heard of them losing a battle. In fact, the last time was 12 years ago. In those days, Vertiol didn't even know the Lords of the Frozen Shadows existed, or that they were at war. This all took place in a kingdom in the Northeast. I don't recall the name, but their victory was destined to be short-lived. A few days after having stopped the Deadwalker army, the kingdom was razed to the ground by an even greater offensive. But then it is possible to win a battle. You haven't understood. Whatever the result of a battle, the Deadwalker army feeds. Whether they win or lose, they always prevail. All the bodies that fall are eventually integrated into their ranks. It's a war of attrition. If it were only military victory they sought, yes. But don't forget, they are crafty and intelligent. They can defeat you long before you are overwhelmed by a ruse or by magic. Sounds promising. Thanks. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to talk to the captain now. I do love... We've already been over this. So, I guess let's go over Hawk first, because we've already done that. Hawk will finish up his recon and head straight back. Don't worry, Captain. You've been working for me long enough to know one thing. I never worry. Captain, I wanted to ask... These are just like... Do we want to go through these two? Oh, no, they're very predictable answers there. Okay, ask for help of the villagers. I'm, I'm confused. It's saying like we need to go talk to him, but is there something or someone else here? I don't think I'm so. Leaving. Oh wait, I reported to the captain. Okay.
This is weird and I don't like it. Okay, quest log. Investigate the villagers for behaving... Okay, so... I guess we have to go find weird-looking villagers? Oops. Uh -huh. What's this? Oh, no, that's meaningless. So I guess we actually have to go find, uh... Weird villagers. Which might actually be a bit of a journey. So, uh, we'll see you as soon as I find one. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one is a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. How long ago did he change? About three days ago. He went out hunting in the swamps. But when he came back empty-handed, he had that far away look in his eyes. In what way, Peaceful? Is he normally an active guy? Active? You must be joking. But it's the first time in years I don't have to listen to him whinging and complaining all day long. And I don't know which of the gods I have to thank, but he don't snore no more, neither. You mean he sleeps soundly? Well, he sleeps less, if that's what you mean. I've even caught him sneaking out in the middle of the night, but he always comes back after a few hours. Whoa, she's not taking any of the signs. Like, why would she be happy about her husband leaving in the middle of the night? She probably is just desensitized and depressed considering she's a refugee. Off to. No, I've got no idea. Not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. <laughs> I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. So true. Thanks for noticing. Wow, Edwin actually talked there. Yeah, that actually worked out. That was nice. <laughs> it's not like you find pretty sluts wandering around the swamp. You'd be surprised. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. You see, that's what I was okay. wanting for so, companion speaking. Here, I want to speak nope. to Tabelia. I have the controller now. Ah, uh, but you're doing it wrong. Oh well. Hello. You all right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. So, I looked it up. We all know that our strange patients are going out at night. So, let's find out where they're going. You didn't need to look anything up. I had it all figured out. Sort of. Notice, we still have to go talk to the captain instead of going anywhere. Because apparently we missed a step. I hope, Hopefully this doesn't get screwed up somewhere along the process. But essentially, we're supposed to keep talking to the captain about the villagers, and then he'll tell us to go talk to Buffalo. Then we're supposed to go talk to the people you found by accident. Yeah, it's weird. Vulcan. I do. You wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. Is that still happening? As long as we have to stay here, yes. Why? Have you heard about these villagers who were acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Take that one over there for an example. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squadly, he'll give us a heads up. I'm leaving. So I guess we just missed that dialogue option like dummies. Anyway, now we're supposed to go talk to Buffalo. Mm-hmm. 
And now... I think it was just hiding behind an innocuous question that would have looked a little mundane. Well, it was a question that we had already asked before. Mm-hmm. The captain tells me you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird. Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers. But the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. There we go. Okay, now we know where they are. And now we have a lot of people to talk to, apparently. <laughs> yeah. But we do not have to go back and talk to uh, the people you already talked to. Mm-hmm. We only have to talk to a bunch more people. Yeah. Now the question is, whatever this thing that's controlling them, is it related to the dead walkers or is it related to uh, some other being? Let's be honest, I don't think this game's complicated uh -oh, enough. Oh, is his wife or yep, his wife sister looks... or something? Greetings. Uh, so how is everything going for you? Hmm. This is going well. <laughs> He's awfully pale, too. Yep. Well... Hugbert and Agartha? Like, are they just trying to do Hubert and Agatha, but changing them up a little bit? Guess so. Do you know this woman? Of course I know her. Her name's Agatha, and she's my wife these past eight years. Even if the old cow treats me like she doesn't know me. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. She don't talk to me no more. I know we had our ups and downs, but still. How long has she been like this? It come over her like a dose of the shits a couple of days ago. See, she, she goes off with, with Jervis and the others to go and collect berries in the swamp. And when they comes back, not one of them will talk to me. Where exactly did they go? What? How the fuck should I know? Uh, you'll pardon me, but gathering berries is women's work. But at any rate, they never go far. Otherwise, they never come back at all. Do I don't like... Hmm. This game uses the F word a little bit too liberally, and there are plenty of other expletives that they could have used that were a little bit more traditional back in the day. Yeah. Not that this is supposed to be historical or anything, considering it's a fantasy realm, but... I... I think if I remember, one of the reviews was talking about, like, how this game tends to switch between, like, almost fantasy speak... And then, like, back to, like, almost modern day, just, like, vulgarity. Uh -huh. Especially the main character, who will use, like, modern day phrases yeah, to insult I, people. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's hilarious. Well, watch them make uh, a bad metaphor that actually involves cars or something. It's like... What? Uh, oops. I would not be surprised. So she didn't go alone? Jervis is one of Mason's men, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. There were five or six of them. Why don't you go and ask Jervis? He should be over by the barracks. He'll have a better chance he'll talk to you if you don't mention me. Is there anything else strange about her, apart from the not talking? Well, she ain't much between the thighs, if that's what you mean. She don't say or do nothing. Just sort of lets me get on with it. She don't even pretend to notice what we're doing. Men, give them a piece of meat, and they're just a couple of minutes away from satisfaction and sleep. Yeah, sure, but not every man is like that. True. Some are more discerning. Others show the meat a little more respect. 
I was only trying to give her a nice moment to patch things up between us, sort of. Uh, that's not really what I was asking about, to be honest. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hang on, there might be something else. I woke up this night, and she weren't there. I must have dozed a half hour before I'd gone back to sleep, but she never come back. I never saw her again until sunrise. And I imagine you have no idea where she could have gone? None. And she wouldn't say nothing to me, like usual. I hope that bitch ain't off seeing another man. That's all I need. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. You seem like the perfect husband. I'll be leaving now. I do have to okay, say... Okay, now she's starting to talk. Yeah, but... she is. You better go back and talk to that drunken sot who pretends to be chief of the guard. We need to find out where that expedition is going. I have to say, I'm actually kind of enjoying an RPG where you spend 90% of your time running around insulting people for being idiots. I'm or just, weird. I, uh, they're a little blunt about... This guy's like, yeah, I should don't do nothing, but I, I'm still going out of my business. <laughs> and, and Edwin's just sort of like, ugh, men. Yeah, I, I really do actually enjoy Meat. just how, like, mean we are in response to people being stupid. Just how stupid people are. Yeah. For goodness sake. I'm enjoying this, actually. Nigella, she's just like... He doesn't snore anymore, and he wanders off alone at night. I don't mind. It gives me peace and quiet. And then this guy's like, eh, she, she's not much for me. Look at this. My favorite fucking troublemaker. What does marriage mean in this world? Do you just sit under a tent together and that's it? Apparently. <laughs> staring listlessly off into space. About those villagers who've been acting weird. I found out that they disappear during the night. And is that it? I imagine you'll have to follow them to find out what they do with their evenings and where they spend them. Your man Jervis. He seems even more out of it than the rest of your troops. Oh, him, yeah. Last couple of days, he's gone completely stupid. Shit. He's got it, too. He's gonna go all gaga like those other weirdos. The fact that he led all the other weirdos on an expedition didn't surprise you any? Where'd they go? Well, now you mention it. Yeah, obviously. It makes sense. They went off toward the southeast, if I remember right. Worthless wine soap. Right. I'll check it out. I'm going. Look at this! About those... Do you have... We have to find out what the fuck they get up to at night. With a bit of luck. We'll understand what's going on in the southeast. It'd be better if we start this evening. Wait till night falls. <laughs> 